Muhammad Idris Debi came to power after his father, Idris Debi Itno, was killed on the front lines of Chad's war against the rebel insurgency in 2021. He appointed himself transitional leader and military ruler, a move critics say was unconstitutional. If Debbie wins Chad's elections on May 6th, as analysts expect him to, he will legitimise his rule and become civilian president. Meanwhile, prominent members of the opposition party have been banned from appearing on the ballot and say speaking out against the government is risky. We are taking a lot of risks and we don't know what will happen. We have already covered practically the entire South, and we will go back to the hinterland to try and explain to everyone that the results that will come out of this election are not for the Chadian population. It is not to solve anything about the past. In February, one major opposition leader, Yahya Dillo, was killed by Chadian security forces. He said he was resisting arrest. His party, said Dillo, was assassinated. Analysts say Debbie's influence is growing in Chad and beyond. Debbie's importance as a security ally for France and for the US has been hugely enhanced by uh, the developments in the centre of the Sahel, uh, because we've seen a series of military coups, of course, in West Africa. Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger all of which were closely partnered with the West in the fight against militant groups linked to Al-Qaeda and Islamic State in the Sahel, have seen military coups in recent years, in part on a wave of anti-Western sentiment. Following the coups, Western troops were ejected. Chad has avoided such a coup. But at the same time, the state remains very, very pro-French, and the state is putting in place all possible means precisely to prevent an anti-French movement from growing. While French troops remain in Chad, media reported on April 25th that US troops would leave, at least temporarily, or until the election is over. The US began pulling its 100 military personnel from the country in early May. Henry Wilkins, VOA News.